hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is agiti aka black girl scientist for those of you who are new here if you're new here please go ahead and click the subscribe button and welcome back to all my returning subscribers so in today's video i'm going to be talking about a super serious topic which is choosing your science major so I know universities are going to be opening soon and if you've applied you know to do a Bachelor of Science or if you're thinking about applying to do a Bachelor of Science in the future then this video is for you so keep watching so as i said today we're going to be talking about choosing your science major this is really really important not so important when you're in your first year because um, most bachelor of science uh, applicants or people that are doing an, a bachelor of science in their first year we all pretty much do the same kind of subjects i mean we uh, do the same kind of subjects that first year medicine does some first year engineering does uh, basically the whole of you know the science faculty first years do the same module so it isn't so important for you to choose a specific one you know then during your first year and most we mostly choose like i know i did i chose a very broad kind of um, major in my first year but i'll get into that in the video so i just wanted to start by saying doing a science major is probably one of the most broad kind of um faculties or options that you can have because the term science is very very broad so you know science you know especially in when we refer to science research you can basically do research about anything and everything so it's really really broad which is what i love and you can also you know dabble in in different majors which is also really really great so just a few things that i wanted to highlight in this video about choosing your science major important things to note when you are choosing your science major and you also need to think of the future what do you want to do in the future so you can't for example study geology which is a very specific um, science major and then decide that you want to go and be a microbiologist um, it's it's different and you specialize and you focus more in your second and third years on your actual majors that you've chosen so now you're in first year <laughs> you've chosen to do a bsc there are so many so many so many majors out there i think when i googled it there were over 40 science majors out there so th these are like specific subjects that you choose to major in when we say major it's something that you choose to specialize in so you can so you can only specialize. specialize in one or two science subjects so that's what we say when it, and that's what they refer to when they're saying a major it's the subjects that you choose basically in simple terms for for someone who is going into first year so like I said there are so many majors to choose from they really are we are absolutely spoiled for choice in science so I'm just gonna read a few science majors that are these are more broad ones and then they become more narrow and more specific so there's applied mathematics applied statistics archaeology astrophysics biochemistry biology chemistry computer science computer engineering business computing environmental and geographical science in um, genetics geology human anatomy and physiology marine biology mathematics mathematical statistics ocean and atmosphere science physics quantitative biology there are literally so so many so those are a few of the broader ones that i've mentioned for example biology is super is is really broad they different things that you can do marine biology under biology you just do biological sciences microbiology they different biologies that you can do more specific majors that you choose underneath the major majors that i have just mentioned for example in biological and medical sciences biochemistry biophysics and molecular biology underneath that there's biochemistry biochemistry and molecular biology biophysics molecular biochemistry molecular biology molecular biophysics photobiology a few minutes later radiation biology structural biology biological science biomedical science 
or medic medical science which is what i'm doing now currently and then underneath um botany you know there's botany and plant biology plant molecular biology plant pathology plant physiology underneath cell and cellular biology there's anatomy there's cell biology there's molecular biology there's histology there's developmental biology there's embryology i can literally go on and on and on and i found this site while i was actually doing my research for this video which is absolutely great i'd really encourage you if you're thinking about you know choosing your science major um to go on it you literally just google list of bachelor of science majors there's a site that comes up that tells you that there's so many majors and it tells you what the majors are and which institutions in south africa actually offer them so that i really found that site so amazing and i wish i had known about it you know when i did my undergraduate degree because it's really really great there are some universities that don't offer specific uh, particular things like botany you know and you might find them that for example ukzn offers it offers something that that vits doesn't offer or vits offers something that ukzn or vits or uct you get what i'm saying <laughs> so it's really really important to you know um do your research when you are choosing a major and and make sure that you know if the institution that you're actually thinking of going to and that you have applied to offers that major so now you are a first year you've chosen your majors like i said i chose a really broad major when i was my in my first year because i really didn't know much about all of these majors that are out there i mean over 40 majors when, when we're in high school we literally only um learn about physics chemistry genetics biology simple like you know the regular ones that we know about but they're really really so many and they're so specific and they're so interesting so it's really up to you and up to you as wanting to be a future science or aspiring science scientist to do your own research about these majors research the majors what they are what you want to do and it's really important to, for it to start with you so it needs to start with what are you interested in and then find a major that you are going to study that is in line with your interests i hope that makes sense so for me and for example i was a microbiology and genetics major so i was a double science major in my undergrad and i was really interested in genetics and kind of the stuff that we learned during biology in high school so i was like hey i really liked this when i was in high school let me do this only to find that it's even more interesting than i thought and it, and it's just great so that's what i mean whatever you're interested find a major that aligns with that i promise you it exists i literally just read so many majors um out and i didn't even finish them because then this video would just be me reading out majors um which is not what i wanted to be so like i said i chose the earth um and life science stream when i when i chose my majors for my undergrad in my first year like i said we all do the same subject so it was fine and then in my second year then i actually chose my specific majors and i chose genetics and microbiology so it's okay that's why i said in your first year it's okay if you're not too sure about you know what major you want to choose or what stream you want to go in but it it does get important when you're in your second and in your third year so um just be aware of that um that i wanted to say and yeah it's okay to chop and change like if you find that you're in genetics and you actually really hate it and you want to do something else do something else um you know choosing your major is really important because like i said it's going to shape your future it's going to shape your future career it's going to determine what kind of job you land in like i said if you're doing geology you're going to be a geologist you're going to be out in the field etc etc and if you're doing microbiology you're going to be working with microorganisms so you're going to be in the lab you're going to be using a microscope etc etc so it's really important for you to choose a major um as in what you want to do in your career for the rest of your life basically so it's really important in that and i just wanted to do this video just to tell you how important it is when you choose your majors not so important like i said in your first year but it does get important for it to be more specific and we are honestly blessed in science that it's such a broad field by nature and and so many things you can study so many things underneath science so actually just a little stat is that 
actually 80% of future jobs are going to require STEM, science. So that's 80% of all the jobs in the future are going to require people to have done either science, which is what we're doing, technology, engineering, or mathematics, which actually also falls under science. So yeah, it's, it's really important. And if you are currently choosing your majors, you've chosen your majors and you're studying right now, I wish you the best of luck with that. Work hard, work consistently hard. And it's not easy. Nothing's easy actually. So all the best with that and all the best with your studies so that brings me to the end of my video thank you so much for tuning in if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click that subscribe button <laughs> So yeah, I am super excited to be back. I know I haven't been posting quite regularly, but life has, you know, it's 2021. We've begun the new year. Life is happening for me. I have a lot of things planned um, and lined up, but I will be bringing you more content. I think um, based on my poll that I have on Instagram, if you're not following on me on Instagram, please make sure that you follow me there because that's where I interact the most. But a lot of people actually wanted me to do a video about being productive while working from home so that is probably going to be one of my next videos a lot of people actually expected me to be speaking about coronavirus again because like i said in my previous two videos if you haven't watched them please go ahead and watch them that i would be doing a coronavirus series so i'd be keeping you kind of abreast and up to date uh, as in what's happening with coronavirus especially now because we have the vaccine um etc so yeah we'll be bringing more content i promise thank you so much to ev for everyone who subscribed thank you so much for commenting and supporting me i really 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 appreciate it and have a great rest of your evening and i will see you on the next video bye